Good morning, my brothers. Welcome to your Daily Grip on God's Word. Great to be back with you. Hey, how many of you play Little League Baseball? My dad was my coach. This is back, oh boy, uh, late 60s, early 70s. Yeah, go ahead and date myself right away. And I longed and I lived for getting my name in the weekly newspaper back in Ripon, Wisconsin, of seeing how many hits I got, two for four, three for four, one for three. It was something that I ended up living for and even having my parents cut it out and put it on the refrigerator door each and every week. Um, I didn't realize how that set the stage of how much I long to be recognized in a maybe not so healthy way, all right? I'm just teeing that up for you for today's grip uh, as I'm learning really um, a lot through this one. So today is going to be in Romans chapter 11. I've actually got three verses and they're interesting because they're, they're short, condensed, but my title is God Must Get All of the Glory. Okay, so here's my G. Romans 11, 34 through 36. It, who has known the mind of the Lord? Or who has been his counselor? Who has ever given to God that God should repay them? For from him and through him and for him are all things. To him be the glory forever. Amen. All right, so my reveal is I recently had lunch with Mr. Countryman. Many of you know that Jack is 93 years old, and even in that lunch, a repetitive theme is, and let me just kind of show you what I, what I penned out. Jack's constantly reminding me of the end of this verse. God has to get all of the glory. He does not share it with any man. And guys, I'm going to just pull back the layer a little bit, maybe pull back the curtain of um, Jack got really emotional this past lunch, um, maybe at 93, you know, it's a reflection time. Um, he's really finishing strong, you know, on that back nine of life. But when the watering happens in his eyes and he just comes to me boldly and saying, my son, if you take any personal credit for what God is doing in through you or through the ministry, you will lose his uncommon favor like that. Still today, guys, over the years, that has been one of his teaching moments to me. And because he's been repetitive to that, me as the student realizes I haven't really got it yet. So let me take you into... Um, that was my review. My eye is, I must remain humble. When God allows his uncommon favor to fall fresh upon my life or upon the In His Grip ministry, he must get 100% of the glory. He does not share it with any man. My prayer is, Lord, please build me into a man of humility. Use me, Lord, in ways that there'd be no way that a man could do this or he could do that. Jesus, be glorified in all that I say, in all that I do. Amen and amen. I don't know if you guys can relate to any of that, but boy, through the years, um, I wanted my name recognized in all situations. Uh, very unhealthy, and I think there's probably still some cleaning up within my heart that God's doing um, still today at age 62. Let me close this out with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you for verses that do speak into the depths of our heart. And thank you for men like Jack that speak such bold truth, but it comes through it in love that he is just seen enough through his 93 years on, in life that... Um, we need to continue to build on a spirit of humility. I don't think we ever arrive to that. So Lord, build each of us into a man of humility that um, we know that where the credit needs to go, it all goes to you, God. We can't share your glory with any, any um, man, ourselves, whatsoever. So Jesus, be glorified, be honored, be highly lifted up. We pray this in your powerful name, in Jesus' name. 
Amen and amen. God bless you guys. I will see you bright and early in the morning.